Hi everyone, welcome to another Arduino tutorial. In this tutorial, we will have uh, three LEDs. We will make them blink and they're going to present how traffic lights work. Let's see it. Now let's go to instruction and programming. Okay, everybody now we will continue with the programming part in the programming part firstly uh, we have to open the Arduino program and later on we go to file and new and we can open the window and then by holding the control we can make the letters much more bigger so now uh, in the programming of Arduino we will have three main parts uh, on, the, on the top we will have the uh, code lines where we're going to declare the uh, variables and in the middle part we will find the setup where we're going to declare the what kind of components we are using and in the third part we will control the components of Arduino uh, by using these variables let's quickly set our variables uh, I will start writing variables as an integer and you can write the variable names as you wish how you like uh, using you can use any language you want for the variable naming i will write example in our project we will use three different leds i will just quickly call them red and then uh, where you're going to put the red let's uh, let's see the red is plugged to arduino on the number five right so i will say equal five and make sure you terminate with the semicolon I will quickly write rest of them after we write variables now it's time to set up uh, this component we're gonna write pin mode and then we will write the uh, variable name or the pin number on Arduino I'm gonna write their example red and what kind of device it is it's an output device right all LEDs are output but of course if it's a kind of sensor it can be also input but we will see them in different tutorials I will do the same thing for all a uh, components 
let's have a look what we have done so far. In on the top we did uh, declare the variables, and then we used using variables we declared them what kind of uh, component they are. Now it's time to use them, and uh, so we're gonna control them using these variables. I will say digital write. So we will uh, use those things. So if you are using output device, it goes with the write. If you are using input device, it goes with the read. So digital write for output, digital read for input. LEDs are output, so that's why we will just use digital write. And after that, we're going to write which component we're going to use. And then what is the status of that one? You want to turn it on or off? If you want to turn on, you have to say hi. If you want to turn off, you have to say low. So firstly, it will turn on the LED red and it will turn it on. And how long you want it to stay? I want it to stay example seven seconds. So every thousand seconds is equal to one. Um, every thousand milliseconds is equal to uh, second. So I will need uh, seven seconds. That's why I said 7000 milliseconds. And later on, I want him to turn it off. And it will turn off immediately. You don't need the give so delete time for turning off. Actually, uh, sorry, I wrote there high. The for turning off it should be low, right? Very good. Bravo, you're you're looking at the lesson very good. I like your attention. So now we're going to go to delete. Um, it's going to turn off this immediately. We don't need the, uh, you know, making a delete time for that. We'll just give a very uh, short delete time. It will be 100. Now I will write the same thing for other LEDs. So, you know, in traffic lights, when it red turn off, it will turn on yellow, right? And it will do it's it's gonna be about half second because yellow only just showing up a little bit to get prepared, right? So we won't let we won't let it stay for longer. Then uh, we will just make him stay half seconds and it will turn off this immediately. And then make sure we write here yellow. And then we will go to directly to green. So green is going to stay for four seconds. That's why I will say for thousand millisecond. And then again, it will turn off the green. And later on, uh, we will when we go back to red from green to red. So it has to show one more time yellow. So it will also warn people if you are coming from far. So you need to slow down. So because the red is coming, we will not let the directly go red. So we will firstly uh, blink the yellow and then red. So that's why I will get one more yellow from here and then paste this after green. And then now we are ready. So let's see quickly before we upload the codes. Red is going to stay for seven seconds in a high position. I mean in a turn on and this will turn off quickly and then turn on ye yellow for half second and turn off the yellow and then turn on the green for four seconds and turn off immediately after four seconds and then go back to yellow to show it half seconds and turn off and then it will start over and do the same thing again and again like you see in the street. So let's send the codes to Arduino. Make sure firstly uh, you select the port from here and now we will send the codes. Uh, of course, you need to save your app program. So as you see, it shows firstly red. And quickly yellow and then green. And then it will go back from that way. So amazing. Okay, that's it. We did the project. Hopefully you enjoyed it. And we will see each other in the, another tutorial. Hopefully we will work with the buttons. All the best for you. See you another time. Bye-bye.